My name is uh, George Sonny Holt. I'm a navigator bombardier in the B-58s, and I spent three years at Grissom Air Force Base from 1966 to 1969. Uh, one of the uh, things I remember about the B-58 was uh, how fast it was. And uh, one day we were at uh, Coswell Air Force Base and we didn't have the fuel tank on board, so the airplane was very light. And my, pal my pilot, Al Dugard, uh, he got clearance to do an afterburner takeoff and climb to altitude. So uh, I said, uh, okay, Al, as soon as you get brake release, I'll stop my stopwatch and we'll see how long it takes us. So uh, Al says, okay, going into AB, releasing brakes now, and of course you get thrown back in your seat. And he goes down the runway and he pulls it up and as he's going up, he calls ground control and he says, ground control, I'm going through 15,000 feet. And he says to me, I can still see the end of the runway down there. And ground control says, sir, did you mean 1,500 feet? And he says, no, 15, make that 19,000 feet. That's how fast we were climbing. Anyways, he, he overshot 24,000 and he brought it back down to uh, uh, 24,000. And uh, I told Al, I says, guess how many seconds that was? And he says, what? I said, 48 seconds from brake release. Well, the B-58 had four J-79 engines, and each engine produced 15,000 pounds of thrust. And when the airplane was empty, it only weighed 56,000 pounds. So theoretically, you could go straight up with a light fuel load. And that's about what we did on that particular day. Another time, uh, we were uh, doing simulated bomb runs on uh, Nike, uh, uh, Chicago Nike. And uh, the Nike site uh, scores your simulated bomb run. And they have a large plotting table and this uh, electronic pen uh, does your track as it comes down the plotting table. And at bomb release, the pen lifts up and then they extend that track of where the bomb would have hit, depending on the winds and all of that. And one night, we were at altitude uh, doing a racetrack pattern on Chicago Nike. And we were in one hellacious jet stream. Must have been over 200 knots. And uh, I told Al, I says, Al, I'm gonna compute a indicated airspeed for you to fly so it'll put us at zero ground speed. <laughs> so Al says, okay, I'll give it a try. And of course, the, uh, the B-58 had the nose up and, and uh, I'm, I'm looking at my ground speed indicator and I say, Al, 40, 30, 20, 10, there it is, we got zero ground speed. And all of a sudden, the Nike side operators start yelling at us. They said, Delta 52, do you have an emergency? Because, you know, the, the, the pen stopped. And the only thing they could think of, we either crashed or we blew up in the air. So Al says, uh, you know, I'm, I'm right on the edge here. I don't know if I can hold this much longer. I says, okay, go ahead, because we want to get a good bomb run out of this. So he calls Nike and he says, uh, uh, Nike ground site, this is Delta 23. We just stopped for a while to eat our flight lunches. <laughs> and there was dead silence from uh, uh, the Nike bomb plot people. Uh, they didn't know what to think. <laughs>